Hello, my name is Melanie Callahan, and I am a teacher in Long Island, New York, and I graduated from Buffalo State College. I went for exceptional education in 2017. So right now, I work at a school called Developmental Disabilities Institute, and we work with the population of 15 to 21, and every kid in our school is on the spectrum. They have autism, and we work on different IEP goals. Each kid has 12 to 17 individual goals that we work on every single day, whether it be a math goal, science goal, or brushing our teeth, and a porter maintenance goal. We really work on everything. We also focus very or we, we focus on behaviors as well in our classroom. A lot of my kids have self-injurious behaviors or they aggress on staff. So we really focus on a lot of different things in the room to help the kids throughout the day because it's such a wide spectrum and I, I love working with this population. When I'm not at school, I do work at Michael's part-time, the craft store, which is awesome. I work with my cousin, so we work almost every shift together, and we learn a lot. We also get a discount, and it really makes it fun for the classroom because we're both teachers. Before COVID-19, we went to a lot of hockey games. Because I live on Long Island, I should be an Islanders or Rangers fan. But unfortunately, because I was in Buffalo for so long, I am a Sabres fan. I am very interested in going to different museums, pop-up museums, art museums, Mickey Mouse museums. I'm very big in Disney, so that is very fun to me. When I'm in school, I love making bulletin boards because I like to have a fun and bright environment for my kids. There's also some sensory stuff on my bulletin boards that my kids are more than welcome to come up and touch if they'd like. Um, I want them to be engaged and feel free to do what they need to do in the classroom. I don't make my kids sit in their seats all day. Um, they're pacing, walking back and forth touching everything and that's totally fine with me. I do have two cats. Um, Martin is the orange one and Benny is the tortoise one. We really spent a lot of time together during quarantine and it was awesome. I got him a tent for the backyard and I got an inflatable couch and when we weren't distance learning in the bottom picture when he was laying under my desk we were laying outside together so that was very great and a very special time for us. Something that changed during the pandemic for me was Zoom. Before the pandemic, I didn't even have a webcam on my computer, so I had to go out and buy one, which was fine, but I found it challenging because since my students are on the spectrum, they don't sit for longer than two minutes, um, and it makes them upset sitting in front of a screen, so zoom was very challenging because i needed a parent there at all times and some parents didn't want to participate because it made their child upset and caused behaviors which i totally understand one thing that i loved doing during quarantine was reading to my students so i would read them a book and my favorite one was the emotions book and then i would make an interactive powerpoint for them and i would ask show me happy they'd have to click on happy they'd get an automatic um, positive reinforcement, show me mad, positive reinforcement, show me sad if they got it wrong, just try again. And that way we were never telling them they were wrong, but we just um, encouraged them with a different type of prompt and they did very well. The reason why I'm interested in this program is because a lot of my students don't communicate verbally. They are, a lot of them are nonverbal, so they already have a device in front of them for communication. So if I put them on the computer for fun and not work, uh, or an iPad, they can navigate YouTube faster than I ever can, and they can find a bunch of things online that I 
faster than me, so they're very into technology, and that is their way of communicating. So if I can find a different way to incorporate their IEP goals online rather than just PowerPoint, that would be very special to me. COVID-19 has also changed our classroom dynamic because before the pandemic, I had a 6-3-1 ratio in my classroom, and now I have a 2 or 3 student ratio to 3 staff and 1 teacher. And um, due to sensory issues, a lot of my students don't wear masks. So we encourage it and we try to reward them for wearing a mask, even if we do it in small increments, but it is a challenge. So I am looking forward to the rest of the school year. We did start in July, so we're on our third month, I believe, and it's going very well. It's working out with being socially distanced, and I look forward to a great school year, and I look forward to learning with all of you. Thank you so much for listening. Have a great night.